And here we are on another episode of Heart to Heart by Zeda World with Mr. Subit Jilan, another very interesting person who is from the IMA and an engineer. Plus, he has a lot of feathers in his cap. And I have I have a, something to say about him that what he's written is very powerful. He says that in my career. So far, there's a powerful driving force inside every human being. And that you can see it, visualize it from his face. That once unleashed can make any vision, dream, or, or desire a reality. A quote that has always found its practical manifestation in my endeavors. I have developed proficiency in PL management, corporate strategy, planning, sales, and marketing. There's so many things which he's done. But his main focus has been on now his institute called TIE, Takshila Institute. And it's amazing that a man of his caliber has realized what education can do, what the value of education is, and that the education industry is going to boom extremely uh, well in the years to come. So I hand you over to Mr. Sumit Jalan, who's the managing director, chairman of his company called TIE. Welcome, sir. Welcome to this. Thank you. Thank you, Ali, sir, so much for uh, having me over here in this Heart to Heart chat show. Uh, thank you to Rajiv, sir, to, for making me a part of Zena family. I'm extremely proud to be, be present here and interacting with all of you. And uh, thank you to Dr. Suman Bhattacharji, sir, who actually introduced me to Rajiv, sir, and hence, consequently, I became a part of this family. So, our pleasure is all mine. So, now, we would like to know something about uh, your, uh, how you got into this, uh, I mean, something about your childhood, something about your school, something about your college. We'll go in stages. So, where are you from, Mr. Jalan? From Kolkata or from uh, Rajasthan or from where? So, uh, I'm born and brought up in Calcutta, but okay. my route belongs to Rajasthan, to a yeah. place called uh, Nua. It's a small village in the district called Junjunu. Yeah, so, yeah. yes, my my ancestors are from there and my father is a was a first generation uh, family person who shifted mm. to Calcutta and mm. started his livelihood uh, uh, from this place and then he... Uh, grew up and he worked for uh, several companies, started his own business and now he's a proud father of uh, three children, hopefully uh -huh. proud <laughs> and uh, yes, so it is like that and uh, I'm basically an uh, enterprising leader, uh, I have an extreme uh, passion for uh, uh, fitness uh, and uh, I like to uh, take up new challenges in the personal life, uh, professional life, and I'm sure that uh, my energy and enthusiasm will make this chat show very interesting, and I'm looking forward to it. Definitely, sir. Definitely. But tell me, sir, uh, you are three brothers? Uh, in, uh, we uh, are two brothers and one sister. Sister is the eldest one, and I have an elder brother, and the youngest one. Okay, so you all settled in Kolkata. All of you are in Kolkata? or uh... To us. Sister, sister has moved to Raipur after her uh, marriage. Uh, okay. Rest of all of us are in Calcutta. And your your basic education, your schooling was in Calcutta, and your college was in Calcutta, except was that right. in, in right? Okay. Where so, did you study? Correct. So talking about my chi uh, childhood, so as I said, my father is a first generation business person. Mm -hmm. So for uh, he obviously knew that you know my elder brother would be taking up the reins of his business. So he always wanted me to be a uh, be into the corporate sector for which mm -hmm. he made sure that I got the best of education. So really fortunate uh, in that regard. And I could go to the best of school, which was MP Builder Foundation. It mm -hmm. was a, being a builder school, obviously the, fa the facilities, the faculty and infrastructure was unparalleled. And yeah. it provided me the right education support for which I could make a good academic career of myself. So, and that is, uh, that is what, and, uh, after my uh, schooling, I did my economics honors from St. Xavier's College, which was so-called his uh, dream college that, you know, my son should be a part of this esteemed institution from Park Street. It's, it has a, it has a big legacy in Calcutta. Although he wanted me to do a become honors, but I did economic honors. I followed my passion also and made sure that his interest and his 
uh, desires were also taken care of. And then I uh, went on to do my MBA from the Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad. Uh, fortunately, I could crack a cat in the first attempt only. And I, I did my agribusiness management from there. So this is about my education background. What was your speciality, sir, in IIMA, sir? Uh, so in IIMA, we specialize in agribusiness management. Yeah. Uh, uh, so IIM has got two flagship programs. One is the general management program. And other one is the agribusiness management. I specialized in that. And under that, uh, all IIM institutions uh, will only train you for general management courses. We generally uh, have to choose electives based on our interests, whether we want finance or marketing or, or HR or corporate strategy. So I chose uh, marketing electives more in that time because uh, coming from a Maori community, you know, we always have yeah, a yeah. knack of how to grow the business. So yeah. that I was extremely keen to understand that domain of uh, uh, management uh, studies. And that really helped me in my uh, professional career going ahead and whatever I'm doing now. Well, that is uh, that is excellent. Because uh, that is a old saying that where the car is not going, there is a car that is going to kill you. And this is a truth and a fact. You go to the North East, I'm sorry, you go to the English, you go to the West, you go to the West, you will always meet a friend uh, who will, with a smile, who will give you some something sweet or some something <laughs> some very pleasant memories. Uh, I mean, be it northeast, be it Nepal, be it Sri Lanka, anywhere. Uh, Tamil Nadu in uh, uh, I mean, uh, south of India, it is uh, flourishing, and the Marwadis are doing a flourishing trade in salt. Are you aware of that? Yes, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I think जो हम लोग खाते हैं नमक वो इतना जोरदार और इतना nutritious नहीं है जितना उनका नमक है but I think that is all exported correct आप कभी मंगाइएगा टूटी कोड़ी का नमक okay कुछ है definitely कुछ there is something very special about that salt okay okay and I mean it has no let's call foreign material foreign particles so that is one thing which is really thing but did uh, did you did you uh, this uh, course in IIMA help you from uh, you know honing your skills and uh, you know giving that uh, fine edge to business? But do you still believe in practicing the old uh, uh, traditional uh, thought of uh, you know school of uh, uh, thought in business, or, or has it changed, or has it uh, you know? sort of uh, completely. It's a push-tani hoti, push-tani soch hoti hai. Correct, correct. Wo education usko find kar deta hai. But usme aap thoda sa combination kar ke uska matlab ek sharbati ghol ho jata hai. Kuch soti. So, or jab tak mithas nahi andar hoti hai, jo purani, to wo uska asli maza nahi aata hai. To mein hi pooch raha tha ki thoda bhoat hai ki nahi wo Yes. Right. Sorry. So, mm -hmm. Right. So, I'll share a very interesting uh, experience uh, during my two years program in this uh, esteemed institute. So, uh -huh. basically, uh, we all know that, you know, how rigorous the academic curriculum uh, uh -huh. IM mein hai. Uh -huh. it is extremely demanding. You need yeah. to study at least nothing less than 16 to 18 hours a day. Oh my I God. mean, that's what I'm saying. Uh, on the lesser front also, we have slept, uh, we have had sleepless night over there when uh -huh. we used to have our project work submission. Entire night we used to work, we used to work very hard and once the project was submitted, we used to also party equally harder. So that was the culture <laughs> of IIM, you know. Uh, I'm not saying that it was a dry state and also all these things are there, but still, <laughs> in campus, ke andar mein, you know, all the students can uh, manage what not. So, so basically, apart from being academically very, very rigorous, it uh -huh. has helped to develop a soft skill element or a composition of soft skill element in every human being. Mane, uh -huh. wo deta hai ki, there's a never say die attitude. मतलब जब हम करिकुलम देखते थे तो लगता था कैसे होगा ये दैट क्वेश्चन वाज फ्रॉम डे 1 पर जब करते रहे करते रहे करते रहे मतलब वो बोलते ना सोने को घिस घिस के पत्थर को घिस घिस के सोना बनाया जाता है दैट इज द ट्रू एक्सपीरियंस व्हाट हैपेंस एट आई एम इट ब्रेक्स योर ईगो फ्रॉम डे 1 बहुत सारे <laughs> लोग अपने इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज में या सेंट जेवियर्स कॉलेज में शायद मैं टॉपर हूंगा या टॉप 3 में या टॉप 5 में हूंगा बट देन व्हेन यू आर कंपीटिंग और बीइंग अ पार्ट ऑफ अ आईआईएम कम्युनिटी 
you are with the best of the minds of the world who is going to be future leaders of our country if not the world's largest one of the largest company so when you when you be with them in the same classroom the experience is amazing so aapko pehle to realize ho gaya ki boss aapka jo bhi aap kahin pe air mein the wo to aap niche aa gaye zameen pe pehle ya pehle aap dharti pe aa jao sir ab ye ayam shuru hota hai wahan se uske baad sabse beautiful part sir raha hai jo group learning wahan pe hota hai mane from day 1 you are being a made a part of group studies जहाँ पे आपको टीम के साथ लर्न करना पड़ता है दैट इज द बिगेस्ट डिफरेंस कि आप कॉलेज तक आप इंडिविजुअल स्टडीज करते हो एंड यू डोंट हैव टू बी अ रियली पार्ट ऑफ द टीम वर्क पर से तो जो कॉपरेट स्किल्स जो होते हैं ना सर कि कोऑर्डिनेशन स्किल्स टीम स्किल्स लीडरशिप स्किल्स वो थ्रू एकेडमिक हम लोग को सिखाया जाता है वहां पे दैट इज दैट इज दन बिग एक्सपीरियंस वी हैड की टीम लर्निंग हम लोग का हुआ कि कैसे बॉन्डिंग रखना है एट मेनी टाइम्स वी यूज टू हैव डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन आवर टीम मेंबर्स कि यार नहीं वो गलत कर दिया ये सोल्यूशन उसने ठीक नहीं दिया ये प्रेजेंटेशन ठीक नहीं रहा हमारा स्कोर खराब हो गया बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट ऑल सिक्स ऑफ अस कैन नॉट बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द सेम प्रेजेंटेशन सो समबडी हैज टू टेक अ चार्ज ऑफ वन सब्जेक्ट ओके आई एम गुड इन फाइनेंस आई विल स्पीक फॉर फाइनेंस सब्जेक्ट समबडी इज गुड इन मार्केटिंग ही विल स्पीक फॉर मार्केटिंग सब्जेक्ट एंड बिहाफ ऑफ द एंटायर ग्रुप ही विल मेक द प्रेजेंटेशन टू द क्लास तो कभी कभी ऐसे होता था बट देन वी रियलाइज दैट यू नो कि समबडी समटाइम्स इट वी अ गुड डे समटाइम्स इट वोट बी दैट्स अ गुड डे बट स्टिल यू हैव टू जेल विद द टीम एंड आइडेंटिफाई द स्ट्रेंथ्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ द टीम मेंबर एंड नॉट जस्ट फोकस ऑन देयर वीकनेस की एक छोटी गलती पे हम कुछ इशू कर दे वहां पे सो नेवर से दाई एटीट्यूड टीम स्किल्स वर्किंग अंडर प्रेशर ट्रेमेंडस प्रेशर ऑफ अकेडमिक एंड सबमिशन एंड सो बेसिकली ये सब जो सॉफ्ट स्किल्स हम लोगों ने डेवलप किया वहां पे विच वॉज more important than any of the theory or the framework of porter's five forces analysis ya four p's of marketing jo bhi humne seekha so that on one front combined with the marwari gene of mal bechna aata hai what is mba mm. sir ultimately it is mal bechna aata hai kya aapko bilkul to wo dono ka ek combination milke sir fortunately uh, i could be a reliable product uh, and i could uh, uh, add lot of value to my company where i work later on Mm-hmm. so that is what i am could gave us and you know once you are with the i am community aapko chahe amazon tak pahunchna ho ya visa tak pahunchna ho ya aapko nasa tak pahunchna ho you will mm-hmm. get the route to whatever you want because koi na koi aapka yeah. banda kahin na kahin baitha hai upar mein ha ah, baitha hai so it makes your networking hell lot easy for you you can reach anywhere and do anything in you like yes, so absolutely. absolutely so that is what uh, how it has been it's amazing that was the only two year period i stayed away from my home till mm-hmm. class till my graduation i was obviously uh, doing up and down from my home only and that mm-hmm. two years actually was a lifetime experience and hamare jab us time mein jo prime minister the manmohan singh sahab to wo log jab convocation mein aaye the to sir ne kaha tha ki sumit sumit nahi sab students ko address kiya tha ki you know this certificate is your life insurance mm-hmm. no matter where are you, wherever you are wherever whatever you do this will always protect you mm-hmm. so you know that is how we Uh, become what we are today. So oh, it's absolutely right because I had uh, this was in two thousand fourteen. I was uh, working in a law garden. Hmm? Law garden, are you aware of that? Yes, absolutely. It's uh, uh, around so that area. I, I I got in touch with Professor Saksa uh, Sena, mm-hmm. and I tried to introduce us in uh, uh, class course in Mandarin uh, mm-hmm. Chinese, language, which I teach and I speak. Hmm? Mm-hmm. तो हमारी काफी लंबी बात हुई दो घंटे तक तो तो दैट इज ही टोल्ड मी अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी सेस वी गेट द क्रेम द ला क्रेम ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम वेरियस इंस्टीट्यूट्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड मोस्ट ऑफ आवर टाइम इज स्पेंड इन चिपिंग अवे द ईगोस एब्सोल्युटली सो ट्रू सो ट्रू सो ही सेस हो भाई भाई वो आसान काम नहीं है करेक्ट और बड़ी खूबसूरती से करना पड़ता है तो तभी आई बहुत अच्छा आई मीन इट वाज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन और टू मीटिंग्स वी हैड एंड ही डिड ट्राई टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय कोर्स इनटू आईएमए बट टाइम आई थिंक द वे एग्जाम्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट आई सेड दैट आई विल कम एंड स्पीक बट नहीं हुआ बट इट्स इट्स अ मेमोरी इट्स अ मेमोरी एंड दैट्स आई मेट अ फ्यू पीपल देयर आई आई रियली आई वाज रियली इंप्रेस बाय देम देयर वाज सम पीपल फ्रॉम यू नो फ्रॉम Uh, not Delhi from other places from North East also, whom uh, I really uh, very bright people. So this is not only uh, Northern India or Southern India, but uh, I mean one is this institute, the other is XLRI Jamshedpur. Absolutely, mm-hmm. uh, they have uh, a cream of uh, people. I mean, their their people also go 
various places. So now tell me, uh, after this, uh, doing this, uh, did you take up a job? Uh, yes. Uh, after completing so, your bit? Yes, again, again, so uh, while for, taking for, up a... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, for, for uh, I mean, uh, after I am in, I mean, naturally, you take up some job to get gain experience, and then finally you head into your business. So, where have you worked? Right. So, uh, there's a company called uh, Shrachi Agrimac Limited. It's a leader in the small farm machinery industry. Basically, like tractors, tractors are for the meant for the bigger farmers. This company was specializing in uh, smaller machineries meant for small and marginal farmers. Basically, sir, up imagine karo ki koi pahad mein banda hai, usko wahan pe uh, kheti bari karni hai, usko wahan pe uh, land cultivation karna hai, so he can't get, carry a tractor over there. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, about 70 to 80 percent of farmers in India were small and marginal farmers. Mm -hmm. So, agar hamare pas product nahi hai, unko serve karne ke liye. So, how will mm -hmm. Indian mechanization improve? And how will the, the farmers doubling the doubling the farmer income ka jo vision hai, how will that be achieved? It wasn't possible. So they were working on a very interesting subject which actually excited me. And mm -hmm. then I took a call to join that company. Obviously, one of the major reasons was that company belonged from Calcutta. And the owner was very clear that Sumit, I do not want a uh, worker. I want a leader for my organization. You Absolutely. and and uh, owner also be belonging to Marwari community. Mm -hmm. He had that trust. Ki, okay, you have the academic uh, domain knowledge with you. You are from Calcutta and you are from Marwari community. And interestingly, I am a Taurus and he was also a Taurus. So this uh, <laughs> four or five uh, parameters were matching based on which, you know, he just handed over the reins of his company to me at an early age. He made me a part of all the board meetings, all the corporate meetings. And, you know, I learned under him. And, you know, we we grew the company four times, five times. And the best part was that apart from whatever commercially good we did, we could serve the small and marginal farmer segment. We could bring about a change in the mechanization in the hilly terrains. Marlop, imagine, Karo, sir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh, uh, Kashmir, Srinagar. Sir, how many mountain areas are here? It's very difficult to give you a farm. And a sustainable farming income is a very challenge. Hai. तो अगर हमारे इनपुट के जरिए हमारे मशीनरी के जरिए अगर फार्मर को अपना घर चलाने में सुविधा होती है उनका इनकम एक सस्टेनेबल हो पाता है इट्स नथिंग मोर बेटर यू कैन डू इन लाइफ देन टू एंश्योर दैट यू नो द फार्मर कम्युनिटी इज डूइंग सो वेल सो यू नो दैट एंटायर जर्नी आई वर्क फॉर देयर ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट अ 12 इयर्स आई ओनली वर्क फॉर अ सिंगल कंपनी जो कि रेयर होता है मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल लाइक टू स्विच कंपनीज एंड यू नो वर्क इन डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्री but that time I stuck to that company because of the thorough vision of the company and the promoter that we want to promote mechanization and help the country uh, help the country with its backbone industry, which is agriculture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So did you, uh, by chance, visit the tea gardens also? Did you use this machinery in tea gardens? Uh, tea gardens, mein, actually, sir, you know that the, the dynamics of tea gardens are different. Hai. It is uh -huh. a slightly labor-oriented industry. We had tried to implement certain machineries in tea gardens, especially in the Assam belt, in the Darjeeling belt and all. I would yeah. not say we were very successful. And uh -huh. till now, a lot of farm uh, companies have tried there, but it's not going to The tea, uh, or what happens tea gardens, mein, jo tea plucking ka jo cheese hota hai na, it's a uh -huh. very uh, labor-oriented work. No matter how quick or how efficient the machine is, it's not going to happen. So I would say that, you know, tea garden mein mechanization is still low, sir. But uh, I worked for bankers. Okay. Uh, you, you heard of uh, Duncan's, Duncan's Contemporary. So, I worked with them. I was in Calcutta. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, since you said agri-machinery, so tea is also part of the agriculture. Definitely. definitely and uh, it's, it was one of the leading uh, industries, uh, I think, in the 90s. But then it uh, has a setback yes. after Kenya, after Sri Lanka, after this and that and so many things. And uh, up, kya ho hai. And the beauty of the situation is that uh, the British left, but the Marwadis took up the uh, you know challenge of uh, running the industry, like McLean Mega, hmm? absolutely, McLeod Russell, mm -hmm. or kaun tha apka ye? Ek aur, uh, uh, Carrick Moran, I think Carrick Moran, Jay Thomas, uh, Correct, know, all multiple, the, yes, multiple. Yes. What you call the snobbish telling <laughs> companies, <laughs> and of course we also mm -hmm. used to go and party. I mean, we used to be in the you know uh, auction house and then go and party in the clubs also. So it was very interesting. But these things, uh, which 
the Marwanis envisioned mm-hmm. the British Sahib, the Brown Sahib put. Correct, correct. Because it was all, everything boiled down to, I'm not uh, from the old community, but I have a mindset. And uh, I was nurtured and uh, sort of brought up by uh, people from your community in Rajasthan mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in my very first, uh, you know, venture of uh, work, which is the tea gardens. Mm-hmm. And that is when he told me a lot of things uh, about, uh, you know, I mean, which what you don't learn in business schools. Correct, correct, <laughs> so, absolutely. Mm. So this is, uh, agri, agri machinery is one thing which is, uh, I think, uh, what you've done a lot in Prakan, but Tarai also needs to be mm. uh, taken into consideration. Uttranchal, then absolutely. I think, uh, have, you, have you sent your machinery overseas also? Overseas also, yes, uh, we have uh, mainly the neighboring countries, like countries like uh, Bhutan. Bhutan is again a very similar terrain as compared to our hilly areas. So Bhutan, yeah. we were doing very good. Nepal is there. Uh, Bangladesh mm-hmm. is there. Sri Lanka, even Africa, we started exporting during my yes. end of That's the career. Good. Yes, so because what happens is so that, you know, Indian brand has got a very big name in the farm machinery sector al- across the globe. You won't mm-hmm. believe, sir, companies like, you know, large MNC companies, New Holland and so on and so forth. They have, they have you know, left, shut their plants, a lot of plants in uh, their different countries because of cost of operations. And India yeah. has become such a big manufacturing hub for this agri-machinery that a lot of companies are now you know, believing in the quality, in the uh, scale of economics, what, ha- what exists in our country. And they're exporting to uh, across the world. Now, a European company is making the tractor in India and again exporting to Europe only. So, you know, Absolutely. that kind of economies of scale our country is visualizing in machinery sector. So, it's it's tremendously and growing very fast, very rapid. Uh, you've heard of pre tractors also? Absolutely, yes. Um, uh, pre tractors also, I, I did mm-hmm. some project with them for uh, uh, tractors for, uh, you know, these gearboxes imported from China. Nothing is, you know... Uh, now, made here, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know what Escorts was doing. Escorts has taken a back yes. seat. New Holland is closed down. Mm-hmm. New Holland, uh, not. Mahindra was doing, as as International Harvest Fair, quite well. But now mm-hmm. it's, of course, one of the leading. Yes. And 40% market share, clean, clear market share for Mahindra throughout. Mahindra. Mm-hmm. And uh, who's higher, Preet or? or uh, um, uh, Taffet, Taffet does very well. Taffe and Massey Ferguson uh, jointly they uh, do Taffe, very well. Taffe, they, they are the yeah. old, old Taffe, thing, yes. powerful and Kubota. In fact, Kubota volumes are still low as compared to Sonalika. Sonalika is the number two company actually. So mm-hmm. Mahindra, mm-hmm. Sonalika, and Taffe they are the top three. And obviously the the new companies like Kubota, being a Japanese brand, their pricing is so high, matlab, highest in the market, but still they sell on based on quality only. There, in that, comparison to the quality. Ideal for terrace farm, uh, farming or also for... Uh... Kubota is uh, a pop, what had become popular for, uh, you know, intercultivation. Basically, the vineyard mm-hmm. cultivation because they mm-hmm. had very compact tractors. Kubota is known mm-hmm. for having po- uh, compact tractors. So, you know, they could enter very easily the narrow space between the two crop lines, uh, two mm-hmm. crops, uh, li- uh, yes. And then they can, you know, make life easier for the farmer. Yeah, yes. rather than the farmer going bending, but... They cost a lot. Uh, they, they cost a lot. They cost a lot, but but farmers are ready to pay because, you know, this finance, NBFC finance just uh, took up the market by uh, storm and, you know, it, it made life so easy for the uh, farmers where they can, you know, go make a down payment and go for the yeah. EMI-based uh, purchase. Okay. And what, what do you think of the future of combined harvesters now? So combined harvesters, yes, they are doing well. But uh, unlike tractors where, you know, each and every farmer can own a tractor because of its round-the-year utility. A mm-hmm. tractor kya hota hai ki wo baro kaam kar sakta hai, but uh, a combined harvester cannot be used for a 12-month round-the-year. So, mm-hmm. abhi bhi ki wo Punjab se bahut sare owners hai jo ek fleet of combine maintain karte hai, and it runs mm-hmm. on a rental model. They send mm-hmm. it to Chhattisgarh, they send it to Tamil Nadu, they send it to every nook and corner of the country mm-hmm. and wahan se wo rental business mein chalate hai. So, combine is a Typical market which no, not every uh, combined owner can run the show properly. So, mm-hmm. yes, potential is there, but uh, smaller combine is picking up very uh, rapidly. So, yeah. the big combine harvesters who were 25-30 lakh cost, they were coming to 10 lakh. Mm-hmm. So, yes, that has a potential again. Mm-hmm. So, that can be an individual farmer. Own kar sakta hai. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, wo hai. Uh, that, that, you're right. You're right about mm-hmm. that. 
because I had done some uh, work with three tractors on combined harvesters, small ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, the machine was there. The, I mean, the machine was, of course, foreign Chinese. and uh, But the body was Indian. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing where the, where the matter failed was that the body was heavier than the engine. <laughs> <laughs> correct, correct. A lot of R&D oh, is required in that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So, um, एग्री machinery is booming mm -hmm, it's absolutely mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. uh, besides that now agriculture has also come up into uh, taken up i think uh, top uh, top rung of the ladder compared mm -hmm. to the other industries i mm -hmm. mean uh, power industry is one you know uh, convention mm -hmm. then solar power if, mm -hmm. if we started with started with power industry mm -hmm. the leader was apne anil agarwal then came uh, anil bhai and mm -hmm. ani and india bulls and lanko mm -hmm. and so many and mm -hmm. see it was it was they were mushrooming power plants were mushrooming everywhere but right. uh, then main thing was that they forgot was the ppa the power purchase mm -hmm. agreement mm -hmm. similarly right. with, i think uh, it hota hai mm -hmm. but uh, yes i know you need uh, uh, people uh, unfortunately there were no not many iits or iams correct that that was the guide, major setback that was the major guide, setback to guide this to guide this people absolutely. are sahab itna profit hai itna hi hai chalo chalo ha chalo chalo sign karo sign karo ha yeah that that i agree the scarcity of talent in agri industry is definitely a, a major setback as of mm -hmm. now whenever we have you know met with the senior leaders of any large company mm -hmm. beat mahindra and escort we mm -hmm. bolte hain so bhai talent kahan hai agri industry mein But uh -huh. after COVID, very although we said that you know talent का कमी है, uh -huh. but after COVID the smart farm mechanization has taken up like really anything. Uh -huh. We uh -huh. never anticipated that you know कि agri industry में कभी drone आ सकता है. Imagine uh -huh. सिर्फ दस दस लीटर, बारह लीटर, पंद्रह लीटर का drone उड़ रहा है, and you know that's uh, spraying the fields of the farmer where the farmer is standing uh, some uh -huh. meters away from his crop land. So you know uh -huh. and you know weather forecasting, कब spray करना है, mobile में उसका सब इनपुट्स आ जा रहे हैं कि दिस इज द टाइम फॉर वाटरिंग योर क्रॉप्स दिस इज द टाइम फॉर स्प्रिंग द पेस्टिसाइड ऑन योर क्रॉप सो यू नो लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैव इवॉल्व पोस्ट कोविड डेफिनेटली यस सो इट्स बिकम अ वेरी अट्रैक्टिव इंडस्ट्री एज ऑफ नाउ बट यस एग्जीक्यूशन रिमेंस अ चैलेंज नंदलेस यस ओके बाय दिस ड्रोन फैक्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन मेजरिंग द लैंड आई थिंक इट विल एलिमिनेट ऑल लैंड डिस्प्यूट्स for the future yes. uh -huh. they are they are planning to use it for land record land assessment land records building and lot lot of many things various irrigation, various aspects irrigation yes, pesticides huh? multi so multi utility pehle to hum log haath se karte the broadcast correct, uh, correct. but now then they then they started with these uh, you know back backpacks and uh, then you know there was area spraying this and that but mm -hmm. that's more expensive i think drones are the answer to large tracts huge tracts of land which we mm -hmm. still have in uh, india and yep. especially this is like andhra pradesh mm -hmm. are you venturing into andhra pradesh soon uh so so sort of agri industry is now uh, i have left that it's last year back. to mm -hmm. my eyes taken a back seat so uh, you know talking about education it's a very interesting journey which i have mm -hmm. uh, so basically this uh, takshila institute of education was actually started by my wife uh, and ah. uh, her her partner sheetal jalan and richika singhi both of them had started this uh, education consultancy back in 2015 so mm -hmm. uh, obviously they were extremely passionate about teaching students because they were they were also done their masters in economics from warwick university mm -hmm. and interestingly all three were from xaviers so mm -hmm. you know we had that understanding and uh, obviously i pushed uh, sheetal to start this uh, institute so you know initially they were into coaching students they were into teaching uh, mm -hmm. gre gmat ilts and all these entrance exams Mm -hmm. but then they realize that you know this entrance exam preparation is just one part of the entire career counseling which they Absolutely. can give to the student so they went into university admissions also mm -hmm. and uh, it was so proud to say that you know they because two lady entrepreneurs in this field have placed students across the world in best of the universities 
be it University of uh, Carnegie Mellon, be it University of California, Berkeley, London School of Economics, University of Melbourne, uh, King's College, and so on and so forth. So they did all this, uh, you know, without any partner university, purely on the merit of the students. They uh -huh. could work on the student profile, help them to uh, make a profile which is sellable to university. Ultimately, uh -huh. universities abroad will not take you only basing of your academics. They want uh -huh. to see what other things you have good in you, like have you done some corporate projects? Have you done some online internship, which has increased your domain knowledge of where you want to expertise or do your master's or PhD? So, yeah. you know, abroad admissions is very different ball game, and they could crack the, uh, they could uh, hit the uh, bullseye. So I thought, yeah. you know, why not? When see, obviously, being coming from the Marwari community, I have that inclination to do something of our own. We always have that. We learn we have the job experience we have the academic knowledge then why don't we try our own hand so that is why i thought that you know since they are so good in admissions and application process how can i how can i help them in business development how can i help them in scaling their business so that yes. is now what i am working at i am trying to help the scale the business and uh, work with work very closely with universities and colleges and in schools yes. so we start the counseling from class 11 uh -huh. Give them proper counseling guidance, career guidance, as in what will be a right career choice for you. And, uh -huh. you know, how can you achieve that? One thing is dreaming about getting into Harvard. And second thing is, you know, making that thing come alive. Uh -huh. So that is what we are working at. And let's see how it goes. Right? So you are doing your dreams. Uh, we, we are helping the students to realize their dream university. But our objective is not to uh, go there and settle over there. We always encourage students to, you know, get experience from there, get international exposure and come back to our country and say, serve our mother country. This is what yeah, I yeah. think is a but fundamental objective of every citizen. In your in your course of time, uh, did you travel abroad? Did you work abroad? And uh, what were your experiences? Overseas? Absolutely. Uh, so, so definitely uh, in my uh, last tenure, we have uh, traveled across the world. We used to participate in various exhibitions in different countries. We used to uh, develop our supply supply chain also, sourcing spare parts and components from different countries. So okay. education is definitely is the one thing, you know, irrespective of any kind of uh, turbulence in the market, be it COVID situation or a non-COVID situation, be it a booming market or a uh, not so booming market. Education is one thing which is fundamental to every uh, every person. Uh, be it your age or my age, learning never stops. We have we have seen that we have experienced that. So so by traveling across the world, we have seen that you know uh, we will send students for gaining the exposure, but the thing will be to come back to the country and serve our nation. Yes, that's the main thing. That is, I think, that is to make your people aware. But you must target not only the elitist uh, segment. You must target mm -hmm. the down to earth uh, and the ground people also. Yes, so it takes time to bring them up. No, I, I will tell you, sir, this is a very interesting question. And thank you so much for asking this question. I was uh, I was wanting to come to that. So, Takshila, uh, sir, stands for Affordable Global Education. Mm -hmm. So, we mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. working on that fundamental. See, mm -hmm. sir, what was the concept of study abroad? There was a concept that the money in the pocket was going to go out of the money. The money in the pocket was going to go out of the money. USA, UK, Canada, Australia. It was a dream. Mm -hmm. But with the uh, changing scenario of European Union, a lot of these countries like Germany, France and Italy, they are all now coming up with, they are opening up their public universities. They have told that if we want to be the uh, largest country in the world, like US or China, we have to open our country to uh, foreign citizens. Allow Asians and other uh, students in the world to come to our university, add value to the country mm -hmm. and uh, give back. So, you know, we have been placing students in public universities in Germany, France and Italy at zero tuition fees. All you need to take care is of your living expenses, which also you can cover. Yes, and your air ticket, which also can be, which you can earn back through doing a part-time job. So imagine mm -hmm. your tuition fees is nil. You go to the best of public universities mm -hmm. and your living expenses can be covered through part-time jobs over there. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, you get a master's degree from the best of the university in the world at a, almost a zero cost. So that is how we are promoting affordable global education. But at some point of time, his conscience just took him to pay you back. Mm -hmm. What right. you've done for him, zero cost mm -hmm. PR, you've mm -hmm. done that for him. Mm -hmm. But if you did it for me, 
माई कॉन्शियंस वो डेफिनेटली प्रेक कि भाई हाउ कैन आई पे सुबिद बैक इतना मुझे किया है मेरे लिए किया है तो मैं कैसे उसको दूंगा uh from the student point of view yes as a yes student. yes so so uh, whatever what, i earn if i'm placed in a nice place i'll mm-hmm. pay you by uh, installment would would that be agreeable uh so uh, so you, installment yes we do have that system only so basically we charge a very 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 uh, minimalistic uh, consultancy fees or student admission charges which we call so okay. that is you know uh, in installments we take it from the student and uh, once he's got the application and once he's got the offer letter done from the university only then he completes his payment so it's a very easy uh, first, uh, payment system which we have kept for every student and uh, that is affordable uh, in their means yeah yeah that is affordable but uh, uh, suppose uh, i mean th- th- these are middle class people maybe mm-hmm. upper middle class people mm-hmm. lmc you might consider mm-hmm. and uh, lower middle class or mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. uh, low class they Correct. they might have savings they might have uh, other things mm-hmm. so i mean there has to be some collateral uh, you know uh, balance mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because uh, if you're doing all this kuch na kuch to hona chahiye na kuch na kuch i mean it's not mental satisfaction of the mm-hmm. so guru dakshina mm-hmm. uh, guru dakshina concept of guru dakshina has to be there mm-hmm. bhai mm-hmm. kab kab tum aaoge desh se wapas aaoge to kaam karoge to kuch अपने माँ बाप के लिए भी और इंस्टीट्यूट के लिए भी कुछ करना ही चाहिए है क्या नहीं राइट आई मीन दैट दैट इज अप्रिशिएटेड सो व्हाट वी डू इज दैट सर वी हेल्प वी वी इन्वॉल्व विद द स्टूडेंट्स एज अ ब्रांड एम्बेसडर्स वी बहुत बार क्या होता है कि एक स्टूडेंट जो जिससे हम बात करते हैं ही विल ट्रस्ट दैट अदर स्टूडेंट मच मोर तो हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं कि वॉट एवर एक्सपीरियंसिस यू हैड विद तक्षीला एंड डूइंग योर करियर इन द फॉरन कंट्री यू शेयर दैट एक्सपीरियंस विद आवर prospective students also so that they can also make a familiar uh, uh, career going ahead so mm-hmm. that ways we are helping to uh, promote uh, global education and create the right awareness about the right skill set we know how the unemployment is uh, increasing in our country because of mm-hmm. the skill gap so if you fulfill that skill gap come back and you know then apply for the right job you are bound to make successful career Yeah, well, huh? That that's the thing. But after having spent five years in uh, uh, engineering or whatever, you know, management in Germany or in France or that, then it's uh, the st- the student or the person gets used to that kind of life. Mm-hmm. So he does come home, mm-hmm. but he comes home with uh, a different vision. Correct, correct. That is ah. what we want, sir. That is what ah, we yeah. want. That we want yeah. that vision to become come to our country. Ah, but that vision uh, may not necessarily. <laughs> because he's used to that kind of uh, vision there their mm-hmm. mindset but Correct. that mindset may not be applicable here may not as right. of now in metropolitan yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but unless he's really grounded and sent to you know the fields uh, or, or you know places where uh, mm-hmm. he has to you know work there mm-hmm. then he might understand but today the tragedy is uh, sumit bhai that uh, if you go to engineering institutes mm-hmm. symbiosis is one i just talked to somebody and everybody wants to do computer engineering computer science yeah we take computer why? science it why mm-hmm. why tell me um they 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 aspire to they get a very influenced and asp- aspirational uh, feeling towards you know joining a company like google or an amazon or some aspiring to work for a mnc company maybe but that is one one mm-hmm. reason mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. other reason is why don't they go for in for the pure pure sciences like mechanical electrical correct correct instrument correct. and control why tell me to i mean roi roi everybody wants high salary maybe the computer oh, science is you know attractive that talent pool and yeah, mechanic, the... mechanical mechanical at one time mechanical engineering was was top most you know mechanical engineering pure sciences be like chalo mm-hmm. acha hai huh? mm-hmm. but uh, Uh, they don't want to you know uh, waste their time in factories or plants yes that too. that uh, that that habit we are seeing you know that is coming up poor poor engineering subjects are mm, declining mm, demand is declining for that that's mm, for sure mm, mm. because right. uh, because what they have qualified it particularly iit people huh? mm-hmm. maybe their seniors do not know correct and uh, i I've, i've seen this with uh, you know hands on experience and uh, mm-hmm. the attrition rate is high absolutely, absolutely. because iitians think now they they rule from 
their mm-hmm. tables. They don't mm-hmm. they don't want to go visit uh, the site or the fields or something mm-hmm. like that. They don't. Um, bad cool. learning. And that's the same with the I am. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, you 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 get the idea of the market. You get things, then you become mm-hmm. great uh, presenters and great uh, effective talkers and mm-hmm. speech makers. So that is how you convince the people. And then the brand I am a. Mm-hmm. Uh, chakka ye hai ki jo aap bech sakte hain wo shayad main nahi bech paunga hmm hmm aur jo meri cheez hai jo main aap aap kahunga bechne wo aap behtar bech payenge mujhse correct correct ye chakka hai to ye cheeze hain kuch these are things but uh, i think uh, by and large uh, it'll improve it'll improve aur jaise mm-hmm. i mean whatever little uh, you know sort of input you've given and to the students uh, you have to tell them that yes you have to come back to the motherland and mm-hmm. so it's like i mean any asian country like china correct they they do have their you know mm-hmm. bright sparks going overseas they do come back you know serve the nation and then Absolutely. what they do whether they promoted whatever mm-hmm. they do they serve them so that right. is something so i mean i really appreciate ki aap na kar rahe hain aur I mean, this is based in Calcutta. It's only one branch. Or yes, uh, we we are no, we are operating from uh, Calcutta, Delhi, Jaipur, and we are mm-hmm. about to open our offices in Bhubaneswar. So, as mm-hmm. I am looking at the uh, expansion of this project of our company, we will be soon having uh, branches across the country. And mm-hmm. another very interesting subject, which uh, you know we have come across, is you know uh, how about internationalization at home. So, you know, mm-hmm. there's a NEP, something called National Education Policy 2020. We mm-hmm. speaks about this subject. You know, mm-hmm. very interestingly, we have seen that about 13 lakh students go abroad last, mm-hmm. went abroad last year from our country. And imagine the number of foreign students which came to our country. That was as low as 50,000. So, imagine the movement where 13 lakh stands and where is 50,000 people only coming from abroad to India. Uh, so, we have been now uh, working on this project where we are working very closely with the public universities uh, where we will be uh, promoting indian universities across the world and we know that how uh, india used to be a global destination in asian times and people from all around the world used to come to our popular universities like takshila like nalanda and so on and so forth and used to gain immensely from our uh, teachers and scholars over here so we are trying to work on that sub project now we are trying to work on that project now wherein uh, we will be uh, promoting indian universities to foreign students we will be working very closely with the embassies uh, indian embassies in this foreign country especially from middle east from neighboring countries from uh, southeast asian countries even from some of the developing african countries who can send their students to indian universities and we can internationalize at home we need not only send students from india to abroad but also equally have a pull for the foreigner students to india so that is the project we are working on and uh, we are getting a lot of support from this indian universities which now want to be at par with this world universities uh, be it harvard or mit or lse so that is very one very interesting thing we are working upon now oh i think he got bumped out of the zoom room i can't see him ah uh, sumit bhai mm-hmm. before because i cannot speak during the session so okay. what i would say on the phone call i had discussed with you slightly elaborate about your future business plan correct mm mm-hmm. uh right uh, so i was uh, as i was just mentioning that uh, one area which we are already strong is that where we are promoting affordable global education for low middle class families and middle class families where they can also uh, ex- uh, we can experience global education benefits but uh, on the other hand we are now working on a project which where we in- where we intend to uh, promote indian universities to foreign countries like neighboring countries like uh, nepal bhutan sri lanka myanmar and middle east countries then southeast asian countries like philippines uh, vietnam uh, malaysia 
and also African countries. So we'll be promoting Indian universities to these foreign countries and inviting foreign students to come to India and be a part of the premier universities in India and add a cultural diversity to the institution. Once they do that, our uh, university will also gain immensely from their experience uh, coming to our country. They will add value to the research subject. That is one. Number two, we are also working on a, a credit point transfer system, wherein if a student is unable to uh, go for a full uh, master's degree abroad, he can do a couple of semesters uh, in a foreign university and then come back and get a degree from yeah. his home universities. That awesome. is the second point. And number three is also ICT-based internationalization. Like we know how digital world has revolutionized the entire uh, learning sector, education sector, and so many other industries. So how can we make use of this ICT-based learning systems from our country, from our premier universities to the foreign universities? So these are the broad subject yeah. where we want to make India as the global destination hub uh, for the world. That is excellent. Sumit Bhai, I'm sorry, uh, we had a power failure and uh, I had to, you know, I had to start on my uh, mobile phone. So, my apologies. And that's not a Aapko problem. Uh, yeah, Rajiv sir uh -huh. just uh, added to that one question which I was answering. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, I, anyhow, on your values and how we can, you know, develop our uh, uh, children's future through your Takshila uh, Institute and uh, Ali and Ali Bhai, if you have phone se login ki hai, horizontal horizontal Achha, horizontal karte hai. horizontal kar diya. Hmm. Uh, take a continue uh, so uh, we would like to give the youth to, uh, of today you uh, we would like your message to be given to the youth of today as to how they can improve themselves and uh, in service of the country by you know joining your institute and getting the values that you impart for them to become better beings and better educationists am i clear on that sir or yes. is it uh, is it a little it's fine it's fine sir yeah uh -huh. the message is well understood sir uh -huh. and and uh, ali bhai i was uh, ali sir i was just you know mentioning to uh, the entire community over here that we are also working on a, uh, a subject which is you know called internationalization at home we don't uh -huh. only want to send indians abroad and get a exp experience of global education but we also uh -huh. want foreign citizen to come to our country to be a part of the learning uh -huh. ecosystem of the premier universities uh, yeah. which we have in our country and uh, that is what we are planning to work uh -huh. That's excellent. Excellent. That's excellent. That's really good. I think the, the power has come back. The power has come back. The power has So, it's, 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 you can continue from one of the devices, sir. I think. Yeah, can, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, yes. Uh, you're mute, sir. You can unmute. Yes, I have unmuted. So yeah. this is, I mean, I'm, if I was ever in Calcutta, I would like to come and visit your institute. And my little understanding of your uh, meeting is that you're a extremely fine, brilliant person. And uh, I would also like to meet your family. How many are there in the family now? Uh, so uh, um, my immediate family, obviously my, my partner and my, I got twin daughters. Mm -hmm. uh, my immediate family and my uh, parents are there. My brother and his family is there. Oh, you have twins, and what are they called? Uh, they are Naisha and Naira. Naisha and Naira. And Naira. Oh, Naira. that's lovely. That's lovely. And what is the difference? Time difference? Two, two, uh, two minutes. Le less than less than a minute. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're a blessed person, sir. Yeah, yeah truly, truly blessed person. <laughs> and do uh, you get? I mean, you must be giving. How old are they now? Uh, they are seven years old. I mean, you know, that is one of the hobby is obviously to, you know, uh, hit the gym very frequently and man maintain a very tight fitness regime. And second part is, you know, spending time with them, teaching them. I just love uh, being uh, associated with them in whatever time I can give them. Yes. yes they are, you know, 
the girls are brighter than the boys of course i don't know right and and, and much more closer to dads <laughs> <laughs> i mean and the grandfather must be very proud of them uh, your yeah, father yeah, absolutely he's also yeah. uh, But I think yes. we are the first twins in our entire family, so that will be very, very, very exciting. Now the whole, I mean, the whole community must be very happy. Yes. And well, your mother, uh, she must be also very, uh, very. I mean, you are you. It's a whole joint family, I believe. Uh, yes, we 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 are we. Although we stay in Calcutta, but my immediately immediate family stays uh, separate. We are nuclear family, uh -huh. and uh, but all of us are in Calcutta first. That's lovely. That's a yes. So, is there anything else which you would like to relate to your hobbies and to your uh, what we should do as uh, to achieve uh, the the position that you are at now and how you did it? Perhaps you would like to give it uh, give a message to the youth because this has been such an interesting program, and unfortunately, the few minutes that I lost, I felt really uh, bad, but. Uh, yeah. perhaps you could you know throw some light on that uh, right uh, so uh, so yeah definitely uh, we are we are working on a you know, we are we are working to bring back uh, india's glory in the education sector india used to be known as the global education hub where universities like takshila and nalanda have done phenomenal work people global uh, global scholars used to come to india for gaining lot of insights about different subjects and then they used to propagate that to the other country but now the thing has so happened that you know Indi more indians are in favor of going to western countries and getting experience over there so we are trying to revive that trend how can we get more and more global citizens to our premier universities and um, build an uh, a phenomenal education ecosystem in our country and even thanks to our honorable prime minister who is you know asking lot of these premier universities to set up a campus in our country yeah. also yeah. which will add phenomenal value it will change the ecosystem of the faculty and student ratios also so definitely we were we are eager to connect to the embassies indian embassies in different countries be it middle east or be it southeast asian countries how can we connect with them and you know jointly work to promote india as the global education hub uh, so i am i'm very keen to work on this there is a a uh, government body also which says study in india mm -hmm. uh, so they they are also working towards this subject on how can we bring more and more foreign citizens to our country and be part of the universities over here so so it is to the youth that okay you can uh, no matter uh, how much you gain uh, experience around the world uh, the the beauty lies in applying that experiences and learning in our motherland so that's, all the best absolutely i i just wanted to ask you one last uh... Not a question. How did you come up with this word Takshila? What was so? I mean, is it right? Some... So you know, uh, initially. Please don't we... mind. Huh? Is it? Is it? Uh, Takshila is somewhere in. Uh, yes, it used to or... be a. It used to be a part of undivided India earlier. So uh -huh. Takshila is one of the oldest, uni first university which uh, was part of the Indian uh, undivided India earlier. Uh -huh. So you know, so we had given our name as where learning begins. so mm -hmm. as we talked you know we thought that you know more and more students are focusing towards getting good marks mm -hmm. getting into good colleges and getting into good jobs corporate jobs but the fundamental learning was missing somewhere yeah. learning is just not academic learning is also giving value to parents and to the family and to the friends and value uh, learning is is uh, omnipresent learning should be everywhere at every part of the touch point whatever we do so that is why we decided we that we'll keep the name as takshila Where uh, the uh, core learning and where the learning actually began in our country. Yes, and this where was Takshila located? I forget. Um, uh, it's located. Uh, it it is some part of undivided India, I think. Undivided. Uh, undivided India earlier, yeah. Before, not not for partition. Not not not, in, not, not any more part of our country. Yeah. Okay, okay, but it's a, it's a lovely name. It's a lovely name, and it's thank extremely you. attractive. So I, like, thank you for everything for your time and for the. Tremendous uh, amount of knowledge which you've uh, you know imparted to us today, and I I hope Professor Piyush Shina is also watching this show. <laughs> I do hope that I will <laughs> love to connect back with him. No, he's a fantastic person. He told me he gave me a tip. You know, we talking about mm -hmm. he was in the retail market. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he told me about he says, "Deco, uh, this uh, leather uh, concept is vanishing gradually. Then what will happen? He said, 'Yeah, P U B will come.'" मुझे अभी भी क्या होता है तो उसकी चोल भी 
कि ये अब ये जो तुम फैंसी बैग्स देखते थे गुची और उसके और उसके एंड बिलीव मी इट्स द लेदर लेदर कांसेप्ट हैज वैनिश नाउ इट्स ऑल फॉर यू बी एब्सोल्युटली एंड इन फैक्ट इन 2022 आई सेट अप अ फैक्ट्री इन आंध्र प्रदेश हम्म फॉर पीयू बी हम्म एंड व्हिच वाज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फॉर स्केचर्स फॉर फॉर यू नो हायर इट्स फॉर ऑल दिस गुचीज एंड ऑल एट यू बी सरप्राइज्ड that the workers were from bengal mhm mhm all bengalis oh interesting huh? very interesting mm -hmm. and the venture was sino burmese okay okay yeah wow. so it was uh, you know the, the, he he had a vision that man had a vision of okay so mr uh, sumit bhai i'll you the sumit bhai gujarati film it's been wonderful being with you I have uh, I'm really uh, and I wish you luck I uh, I mean your family uh, my uh, you know blessings to the children and uh, my namaskar to your parents uh, for uh, bringing up such a wonderful person like you know so so humble and so eloquent in his uh, thoughts so I hope we can meet again and so looking it, it's it's been I it's been a real pleasure huh looking so, forward sir looking forward to meeting the entire zena family one to one in person and mm -hmm. it, it was really an honor for me to be a part of this chat show heart to heart chat show as the name correctly says and thoroughly enjoyed my time uh, spending time with you looking forward to continue journey. and if you are happy to have to happy to come to gurgaon please do visit us but i also Absolutely. might visit calcutta because i have very uh, lovely memories of that area